What's going on guys? Brandon here from BNT's Radical Bowls and Pythons. And today, as you can see, we're going to give all the snakes a good old hydration bath. So here we go. So here we have one of our male biggest boa that I got as a male. We're gonna go ahead and place him down in here in the water and just let him get good and wet. And soaking good. He's actually in the pre-shed anyway, so this will be great for him. Um, and of course, not all of them are too crazy about all the water, but it does help with hydrating your snake. It also helps them to shed. And guys, big snakes like this is a challenge because it's really hard to keep them in the water and you also have to worry about taking a bite because a lot of these guys just don't like it. Just like him, he just don't like it. So anyways, he's nice and moist now and wet, and we're going to go ahead and put him back in his enclosure and move on to the next one. All right, and this one right here is one of our biggest females. Her name is Shiloh. This is actually uh, my wife's big baby right here, and she's holding the camera, so I get to enjoy all the fun here. Um, she's got a little bit of poo-poo on her bottom here, so we're going to clean her up good, hopefully. And, of course, she's not going to like it. All right, girl. You're doing so good. Just want to get it nice and wet and hydrated. Good girl. She's done very well on this. And, again, um, you don't want to... Keep them in here long enough to stress your snake out because that's just not good on any animal. And they all seem to want to crawl or run up on me like they're scared to death. <laughs> so, make sure I got all the shoo shoo off over here. Yep, we're good there. All right, girly. And you are going to go back in the cage. Moving on to the next one. All right, guys. So here we got our VPI Sun Glow male. Down here in the tub. Hopefully I don't get bit because he's a little feisty on me here. Get him nice and moistened up here. Yep, he's ready to fly on me. Not fight, flight. All right, hang on. Hang on, big boy. Don't bite me. I'm just wanting to get you a good bath. Yeah, get you nice good and soaked. Okay. All right. Woo, that was close. <laughs> All right, guys. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one. And hopefully it's not as feisty. And here we have our female lipstick sun glow boa. Beautiful, beautiful girl. This girl is extremely cage aggressive, and I'm hoping the minute I put her in this water, she doesn't get aggressive on me. Now, you may be asking, Brandon, why are you in the water with them? It's because I want them to know, you know, hey, it's okay if a human is around you, no matter what type of situation that you're in. Um, right now, she's kissing at me just a little bit, so she's a little peed off, but that's okay. Uh, I may take a bite on this one. If I do, it's not a big deal. Yes, it'll bring a little bit of blood, and she may hold on even, but it's okay. I'm used to it. So here we go. I'm going down. All right. Good job, Billy. It's getting nice and moist here. And again, uh, this really helps with hydrating your snake a 
whole lot actually. And she's actually doing better than I expected on this. Um, she's doing very, very well as a matter of fact. I'm proud of her. Good girl. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and take her on out. This big girl. I love her so much. She's so pretty. And I'm going to hand her over to the wife and she can take her and put her back in the cage. Here we got our male sun glow boa. Beautiful little boy. Well, he ain't little. He's a big old fella. And he's got some long tongue strokes going on. So he's pretty peed off at me too. It was kind of hard to get him out of the cage. I had to go help the wife. All right. Here we go. We're going down. Oh, almost got me on the toe. Where you at, big boy? There you go. Oh, he's under the water. He likes it. Look at that. Look at that. He's a good boy. He's so pretty. Absolutely love this snake. And he obviously loves the water. That's awesome. I didn't know that. He's a good fella. All right. Buddy, you were dirty. You got the water dirty. And again, uh, I have been changing out this water with every snake so that it's not, you know, nasty and germified. That's not even a word. Whatever. So, yeah. Another one down. And we got one more boa to go. All right. I'm going to put this big boy up. And then I'm going to go and get the motley boa. Here we got our female motley boa. She's growing so fast. It's such a pretty girl. And honestly, I don't believe I've ever had her in the bathtub before. So this will be a fun adventure here. There she goes. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. Oh, oh, she pulled the plug. Oh, no, she pulled the plug. I'll plug it back. We're good. <laughs> She's like all the other ones. She don't really like it that much, but she's done okay with it. Getting nice and soaked there. Oh yeah, you're doing good now, girl. Look at you. Look at you. Beautiful, beautiful serpents. I love these guys to death. This is absolutely where my love of snakes started was right here with my boas. I love my boas. Such beautiful, beautiful creatures. And I cannot wait for these guys to grow up really big so I can breed them in the future. Anyways, moving right along and we're going to start next with the blood pythons. Here we have our little female T positive albino blood python. My bad. T positive albino matrix blood python. And she is such a sweet girl. I love her so much. Anyways, we're going to try her out in the water here. She has never done this at all. So I'm anxious to see how it goes. Whee! Go oh, easy now. Good deal. She's doing good with it. I love the way they glide around in the water like that. It's so pretty. All right. Just getting nice and moist. Well, whoa, now. We'll be going nowhere. Come on now. Okay. She's getting stressed out, so I'm going to get her out here. Probably get bit. That's okay. Maybe not. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. All right. We're going to put her up and go get her mate, the male T-positive blood python. Well, this guy jumped in the water on me. <laughs> this is our male T-positive blood python. It's the biggest blood I have at the moment. He's going to be breeding with the female I just showed you just a minute ago. Here we go. 
We do not like the water. No, you don't. No, you don't. Look at the size of this puppy. He is growing so fast. I'm so proud of him. Boy, you are nasty. I want to clean this water out. All right. It's enough of that. All right, so I'm going to move on now to the Golden Eye Blood Pythons. All right, guys, here we got our male Golden Eye Blood Python. This is the newest one I have. Uh, I got him, what, about a month ago? A month or two ago? Yeah. Probably. He's doing absolutely great. Tamed out. Absolutely awesome. Super duper sweet. Great eater. Pounding down some rats now, actually. Uh, some weaned rats at the moment. And here we go, going down. You got a little bit less water in there this time, but that's okay. There we go, get down here deep. Yeah, get you nice and moist. Yeah. Look at you. Look at you. He's a pretty man. Or a handsome man, I should say. Alright, it looks like you're done, aren't you? Okie dokie. Moving on to the female. Alright, guys. Here we got our female golden eye blood python. Now, she's a little bit older than the male is, so she's a little bit more chunky. And, uh... I won't lie, she's tamed out, yes, but she is also very cage aggressive. If you put your hand in there at the wrong time, she's going to nail you. So anyways, this will be her first time as well in the tub. So here we go. Woo! Oh, no. Does not like it at all. All right. That's definitely a negative. We're gonna go ahead and pull the plug on that. And we'll be lucky if we don't get bit here. Calm down, girl. Calm down. You're okay. You're okay. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help you out a little. I'm sorry. That was like instant shock. <laughs> Um, and the water's really nice and lukewarm and everything, so I'm really not sure why she doesn't like it, but she just don't like it. But that's okay. You're still a pretty girl, and I still love you. We got our little fella here, our Mojave Male Ball Python. Um, this guy... Sometimes it's good ears, sometimes it's not. I mean, he is a ball python, so he's a little bit finicky. Uh, and again, the only re reason that I kept him in the female savannah, which is a uh, cinnamon mojave, also known as a savannah, uh, I kept them to breed and hopefully make some blue-eyed leucistics. So, we're going to go ahead and drop him in here. Give him a little bath. Hey, bud. All right, I know. Stretching you out too, huh? Okay. Well, at least you got a little moisture on you. All right, guys. So, for this one... I'm going to do the Burmese pythons, and I have traded tubs, and I'm not hopping in there with them because I want you to get a good view of just how big these guys are actually getting now. So I'm going to go ahead and let this boy, male albino, 100% hip for granted, take him a good bath. Go ahead, buddy. There you go. Good deal. Just 
just want them to get nice and moisturized here. Get good and wet there. So that he can stay nice and hydrated for us. Such a pretty, pretty animal. And I also brought them in here to this tub because they're a little bit longer than any of the other snakes I have. Other than the boas, but I just wanted to hop in there and play with the boas. It was fun. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and go get the female. And I'll be right back. Alright guys, and here we have the female. Burmese Python, 100% hit for granite. That's albino, 100% hit for granite, excuse me. She is a very, very big girl. I'm gonna just go ahead and let her go there. Just like that. Looks like she's just gonna lay there and Drink the water. <laughs> yeah, you like the water, don't you? Let's go. Get you a good bath there. Yeah, get you a good rest. Get you a good bath. All the snakes need a good bath. Oh, look at how long she is. She is not even a year old yet, guys, and she's this long. It's incredible. I cannot wait for these guys to grow up big. And I can breed them up and have more babies. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. <laughs> 